As that storm cleanup is continuing, many in Lexington are still removing tree limbs and branches from their property. Yeah, and if you are in the process of attempting to clean up your property, officials are encouraging people to practice safety first. WKYT meteorologist Alexa Minton has more. I'm still looking at storm damage today that we haven't been able to get to yet. After damaging 60 plus mile an hour wind gusts, the city of Lexington is still working to clean up tree debris and damages. A lot of city crews are involved, so parks and recreation, waste management, streets and roads, our urban forestry crew, and it's sort of just a process. Debris from the storm ranges from old large trees collapsed on homes and property to even leaves and twigs along the sides of the street. If you still see big storm debris, big trees, big branches, you can call 311 and our streets and roads crew will come and clean that up for you. Jesse Hesley works for Bartlett Tree Express here in Lexington, and he says the process to clean can be slow, but it's about prioritizing safety. Tree work may be expensive, but it's cheaper than the emergency room. It can be really dangerous to branches under pressure out there and if you're not experienced with a chainsaw and think it's easy to do it can be pretty tricky and you can get hurt pretty bad pretty quickly. The city of Lexington has extended their hours at the Haley Pike Waste Management Facility where Fayette County residents can dispose of yard waste from the storm at no charge as long as they show up by 5 p.m. They'll also continue to gather debris in city yard waste collection bins. These storm damages really cause a lot of stress to the trees. Doing tree care is really important to uh, you know minimize the, the storm damage in the first place and then uh, uh, if a tree is damaged to a point where it can be restored, you know, doing some uh, fertilization, soil tests, plant health care, with the insect and disease and pruning to, uh, to bring that tree back to a, a safe and healthy uh, state. For WKYT, I'm First Alert Meteorologist Alexa Minton. And the city will continue to operate with its extended hours at the Haley Pike Waste Facility all the way through October 13th.